All right. So in this module, we're going to go ahead and jump from ionic bonding to covalent bonding. OK. In ionic bonding, we had transfer of electrons, creating ions, which then bond to each other. In covalent, as you are probably aware, instead of that transfer electrons, here we share electrons from elements. And the main difference here when we're looking at electronegativity is that they have more similar electronegativities. So that more similar uh, character between the two elements uh, uh, creates uh, less electropositive, electronegative, so they don't necessarily want to exchange, uh, and therefore that gives us sharing. So things like carbon and hydrogen have very similar electronegativities, and so they tend to want to share electrons. But the same goal is um, is there. We want to try to get to a um, stable configuration, which means filled and unfilled shells. So carbon has four valence electrons. It needs uh, four more or needs to get rid of four. And hydrogen has one. And so it needs uh, one more to create a stable uh, shell. And so here's a schematic of how it can do that. So if we look at carbon, it's got four, the blue electrons. Hydrogen has one. So if four hydrogens bond to carbon, each will contribute their electrons and share. So that means that hydrogen will nominally have one electron from carbon in its own hydrogen. And carbon will have all of its uh, electrons plus the four from the four hydrogens. And this will result in stable configurations on both elements. So this is the, the main difference here is it's sharing. So some of the, um, the, the hydrogen electrons spend some time around hydrogen and sometimes around carbon, and then same, vice versa for the carbon electron. So again, it's doing this so that each atom can complete its valence shell, and that's how we're doing it. So this same thing with uh, chlorine, uh, Cl2. Uh, this is chlorine gas, um, and this is its kind of natural state. And it does so because each one of them needs one more um, electron, and it does so by sharing uh, one each. And so that's a covalent bond between those two here. So each one has seven, it needs eight, and so it can do so by sharing one a piece. So the, the main difference here um, is that between covalent bonding and ionic is because of the sharing, we think of covalent bonding as what we term directional. And it's directional because the bond force bond energy is different in different directions. So here hydrogens are sharing their each are sharing their one electron. So this means that so that's the bond is basically between the two nuclei because they're sharing them here. Uh, the, so the bond force is different here, so it's very strong here, and then very low over here. So the bond force is strong here, and then in other directions, very weak. So that's the directional part that we talk about. So again, the directional bonding means that the bond force varies with angle. So if we look at the other, uh, if we go back to ionic bonding now, so if we've created a sodium ion, the bond force is the same here as it is here because it's only a function of radius, so it doesn't matter where as long as it's at the same radius, and charge, so the charge is e uh, equal throughout. This whole thing is uh, net plus one. So the bond force is equal here and here, so it doesn't, charge doesn't, the force and direction doesn't matter. Whereas in a um, covalent bond, the force here is different than it is here. And so that's what gives us the directionality. So we're going to look at this directional thing as we go through various types of bonding. All right, so let's look at the energy, just like we did with, ion, uh, with ionic bonding. So again, we have two terms. Uh, these are more sort of general forms. So you see an attractive term and a repulsive term. There isn't that ionization term to create ions because we're not creating ions. 
We're just sharing them. And so this, again, just a generic um, energy equation showing you that there's no ionization. Don't, don't need to worry too much about these M and uh, N terms here. Just, uh, just know that the, um, the generic term here.